Warning! The following show may contain strong language, as well as other content that may not be suitable for a younger audience. The show may also contain spoilers for any and all anime and manga, so please ensure you check the description below for the relevant spoiler warnings. Thanks for watching, Olga. That's the opening chord that we'll start on. <laughs> hey. Hey, I'm a computer. Mm, I'm a computer -y guy. Oh, yeah. Everything made out of buttons and wires. Has anyone seen Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared 4? Not yet. Okay. Yeah. I've been horrified by the first one because I did not know of it. They will terrify you. Well, that fucking bombed. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's okay. We're... We're here now. We're Don't done. worry, because if you... We did if the hardest you, part. We did the hard part of actually starting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Manga Raiders Community Happy Hour. My name is Simon, better known as Vacant. I did it right that time, that's perfect. <laughs> and joining me, to my virtual left, at least on Skype on my virtual left, is Corin. Hello, good sir. Hello! I have Woo! popsicle in my mouth. I, I know, I chose, I was just looking and I was like, should I, should I know? She was like, yeah, go for it, fuck it. Um, he's currently got a mouthful, of, uh, mouthful? A mouthful! A mouthful of, <laughs> of an ice pop. Yeah. A freezy pop, as they call them in, in, in the UK. Freeze pop! I've heard like 15 different names for them. I think it's like fun stick a fun on stick. like the actual a fun bag. Stick. Fun stick. <laughs> Fun stick. I can see Are why you've avoided that name and, and, and now. Like, Look, when you buy 50 of them for like a buck, they're not going to have stupid names. I'm not going to argue the name. The Fun Stick. I bought one of them, but it was from a shop that had no windows and uh, only allowed over 18. <laughs> anyway, um, the man who doesn't have a fun pop, he has a fun pop, is... That's going to sound horrible on the microphone. I apologize for deafening everyone. Is... The sensational, the man who just came out hiding because we saw him in the in the flesh, Manimal. <laughs> that was a special moment. Woo! Yeah. Which is surprising because his makeup was on point, exactly like Gene it Simmons. Was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I got it pretty right. I was looking in the mirror, it's perfecting it for hours. <laughs> Hey, how come your intro gets to have more chords than the actual manga readers have? Because yeah, he's the player. Intro. If you play the music, you decide that you have chords. It was a lovely intro that Manimal had. Uh, where Manimal goes, music normally follows. Of course, he's got the guitar and, I'm guessing, harmonica. I'm pretty certain I just heard the harmonica. I can't remember. Anyway, um, he's... Oh, no, that's a kazoo. A kazoo. He's got the kazoo, then. I think it's harmonica. Oh, the kazoo. <laughs> a noble instrument, if ever there was one. <laughs> I really don't know how to use it. It's really a big you piece just, of crap. You just but I kind don't know. of, I don't know, just blow and hope for the best. There's like a pawn shop, and they had them for free in a jar. They're like, take these. We don't want them. So I was like, <laughs> I guess I'll do that. But I don't like it very much. We had some really shitty plastic ones around Christmas or something at work. And I'd just sneak up behind people in the office who were sitting down and just go, oh, that was a terrible kazoo oh, noise. But yeah, that everyone hated that until I think someone eventually collected. Someone collected them all up and l just threw them over the fence into whoever owns the property next to us. I don't know what it is. It's just a <laughs> wasteland. They should um, have linked all the kazoos together and tried how that would sound first. Like yeah, the well, Simpsons episode for the megaphone? Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it worked with kazoos. That'd just be a but... bunch of feedback. <laughs> well, in the Simpsons, it's very loud. Though, God, that reminds me. In my office recently, our CFO, the uh, financial guy, got one of those fucking... <clears> they, <throat> they, Vavuzela's, I'm saying that right? It's still fucking one. Vavuzela. I know yeah, that mean, motherfucker. Yeah. And it was, the... it's a collapsible one, so like a telescope. He'd walk oh, into like God. the office and just like whoo, whip it out <laughs> and then just blow into it. <laughs> oh, wow. That's brilliant. I love that. that. They were the worst things. Watching the 2010 World Cup and just hearing 
50,000 odd people with them, just blowing them. Just this constant. Yeah, one is bad, but yeah, tens of thousands of them in a stadium. Just coming through the TV, I thought my TV was fucked when I was hearing it, and then like it wasn't until it wasn't until like they mentioned it, the commentators, and I was like, oh, I guess it's not my TV then. Um, Do you guys yeah. know those animal noise makers where you like it's a big stick with an animal head and you turn it around and it makes like this shrieking sound? No, it no. goes like. Nyeh! It's really that horrifying. Was, that is an interesting. <laughs> it's really I can't imitate it, but it's terrifying. It Welcome does sound quite to the terrifying. annoying sounds cast. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of annoying sounds. Speaking of annoying sounds, we have a m- member we haven't introduced yet. Oh wow! Whoa, wow. We do. Oh, victory. shots that is fired victory. out the gate. <laughs> I got more Indeed, shots. Indeed, there is one person who He's stacking haven't... up those mega blocks. <laughs> stacking those mega blocks up. It's I, Lego I Maestro. Maestro. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's Lego Maestro, otherwise known as Mordecai. Oh wow! I didn't even learn that one. What's up, people? I'll just disappear in shame now. Now that I've been shot like a dog. Ah, oh, Lego wasn't shot you like a dog. Yeah. Lego wasn't going to be here with us, but we've kind of forced him to be. It was. We'll be quick, Lego. Don't worry. You, you're, you've, your company is very much uh, appreciated here, as yep, always. And, so, the, you know. and all of yours, too. How have you guys been, man? Like, Go go, go quick into it. What has the week been like? Because summer has been fucking awesome. Yeah, that is all I have <laughs> I was to say. just going to say, summer <laughs> has arrived. Even if it's just for this week. Um, Even though, like, two weeks ago there was snow and hail and... A mini tornado down the road from where I oh, was, wow. which is unheard of in the UK. Um, so wait, wait, yeah. what's a mini tornado? It's yeah. like a bit of str- it's like gale force winds, and then it's like a kind of strong wind. Apparently, I don't know. It's what the Sentinel called it. Fine was publication. It spinning? Uh, oh. I didn't witness it to be honest. It was um, it was when I was at work, and they said it was in Wolstanton. Shout out to Wolstanton. It's where I went to high school. But yeah, uh, mini tornado, this is the extent of the damage. This is a good, because um, Corin, you're from America, you know all about tornadoes. You're kind of a bit more of an expert. This is the, the extent, the scale of the damage and havoc that this caused. Okay. A TV aerial was ripped from a roof and at least half a dozen roof tiles came off. From the one roof? From one roof. It was that an old is... roof. It was that from is school. devastating. That is devastating. <laughs> how does that rank on on from F one to F five? How does that <laughs> rank on, on on the scale? Um, let me show you a picture of the aftermath of the Greensburg tornado, and then you tell me. Okay, I'm ready. What is the Greensburg tornado? It was a big ass tornado in Kansas, which is where I live. I really wish that you just said it was a big tornado in Greensburg. Dude, isn't that a picture of Nag- uh, Nagasaki, Hiroshima or something? Like, no. no. So, like, yeah, that was a town once. I went through that town like a month after it hit. Nothing. Completely flat plain. Wow. Oh, my. What strikes, me, there? what strikes me as odd, oddest there is just how perfectly square all the roads are. America's it's... so... Yeah, because we live oh, in America nice. and we use a fucking grid pattern like human beings. <laughs> Listen, we live I a, find we, my way around just fine. Somehow. We live in yeah. a society. I can't yeah, even I, tell the distance, probably. It's just like so That's cool. insane, that is. So it's safe to say that America still has worse tornado. Thanks, America. We're going to try to one-up us on our tornado. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the summer is glorious. I've had shorts on as much as possible just because it's a luxury to do so. Um, it's been a very good week. Thank you for asking, Lego. Um... Heard a bit of news. Um, actually, we'll, we'll we'll get into this a little later. I mentioned the Sentinel, a local newspaper of uh, of of ours. I've seen a news story that I'd like to share, but I'll do it in a in a second. I'll do it after we've uh, gone through all the hellos and and everything. Um, but yeah, it's been very good. Sun's been out, so I've been enjoying it. Had a bit of barbecue, lots of beer. You know, when the sun's out, you just want a beer. It's all good. Um, and I have been working on a secret project with White Crow and uh, Robin Ryu and Echo River of MangaRaiders.com as well. Um, oh, wow. That'll you'll hear good. more about what that. What is that? What kind of site is that? MangaRaiders.com. Well, it's a lovely site for the people like yeah? us. If you are a manga or anime fan, writer, or artist of any skill level, 
or even just a, <laughs> just just you know even if you want to know what manga and anime is come here there's literally literally the best people on earth collected there it's like a, a a project a secret project to save the best people of humanity and they've all just congregated there we have fives of members active that is the most shameless plug I've ever seen. What sort of address does this Banger Reader site have? Is it .com? It's a is dot it... .com, man. That's how you know it's legit. It's mangareaders.com. Oh. Actually, technically, what? it's forums.mangareader.com, but yeah. I think we should really update the homepage. I mean... You can talk to Hassan about that. <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean the message from February isn't too up-to-date for you? It was. It was a good start. It just didn't get thrown Actually, up. Actually, you should talk to Lego about that. He's the one in charge of writing those. Oh, dude, dude, Are you Lego? Dude, no. Lego, I will um, send you weekly fucking updates. He update. volunteered. I volunteered, and I totally dropped the ball in that one. Okay, oh, Lego, I will send you I'm as so much sorry. as I can Don't to update. Me. Post, post these, post these episodes on the front page. That'll, that'll, that'll work. That's at something at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to work. Anyway, that's that more. Up. That's a discussion for another day. Corin, oh, but... how's your week been? Uh, it was good until the sewage backed up and flooded my apartment. Ah, uh, yeah, that sort of stopped us from recording last night, unfortunately. <laughs> the, uh... It kind of stopped me from doing anything last night. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. It, That's it never was, good. It was pretty bad, but did it... it's cleaned up at, for now. God, it didn't ruin anything, did it? It didn't fuck, because that can destroy homes, can't it? Like, <laughs> Oh, it floods. can. I mean, it... Soaked through the wall into the hallway and got into Brian's room a bit, but mine's, mine's room is pretty far from the kitchen, oh, that's, so I'm that's okay, then. Touch. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry, Plus, I don't have, like, anything super valuable on the floor, or close to the floor. I wouldn't Just keep a few super... things, but... Yeah. I wouldn't Either way, super... no, it wasn't, like, knee-deep or anything like that. But oh, it was right. definitely soaking the carpet to the point that it like, squish up when you step in it. Yeah. Well, no good. soggy carpet for some reason just ugh, goes through me, makes me, it turns my stomach. I don't oh. know why. Ugh, I'm not thinking about it. Moving on, <laughs> Manimal, how about you? I would rank it as fairly average and pretty uneventful and unexciting. Fair enough. Uh, I almost got hit by a truck today, but my quote, lightning fast reflex skills prevented that. It sounds and, like an action movie. Um, that's, that's a, there's a story behind that, surely. Not really, I was just walking and a truck came, so I quickly hopped and I kept walking. Damn it, my assassin was so useless. That's the extent of the story. Wow. It wasn't I even got... worth mentioning. Uh, it's just literally that's, the that's... most exciting thing that happened. Does it not ma- Does it not make like life flash behind before your eyes for a few seconds and go, oh my god. Oh, I definitely. Got... Yeah. I got hit by a car. Not proper. It like, was when going I said... at at least a mile an hour. <laughs> 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 I, got, um, I, got, I got banged into by a car. Um, once walking home from work, when I worked at call center, there was a McDonald's on the corner, and it was the McDonald's. One... Yeah, sorry, a, M- a McDonald's. There was a McDonald's. <laughs> there was a Mc. There was a McDonald's on the corner, and it's uh, one of the drive-through ones. And I was walking. Wait, across... are there non-drive-through ones in Bryn? Uh, yeah, yeah, like ones that are in like city centers and stuff. Um, you know, like actual. Pardon me, more just like eating ones. That makes sense. Do you know when you're in the real city centre, like? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you're asking where... a dude who grew up in a small town in Kansas Sorry. about city centres. Okay, it's they don't just... have drive-throughs than the one in Walmart. Yeah, it's it's, it's okay, where it's it where all the businesses and and shops and stuff are. Um, you know, on the high streets and stuff. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so I was walking through the drive. I was walking across the drive-through, like where you would come out and exit onto the road, and a guy was there, and he was like stopped because he was letting me walk and then for no reason i can only assume that he just like forgot and just had a momentary like mental fuck up because he just suddenly accelerated and just banged into me and i was like i'm about to go because it was a it was a land rover so i was like if he'd hit me a bit harder or if he'd not let go of the acceleration pedal i probably would have been like knocked over and under the car because i was just oh, like what wow. and he was just like oh, wow. just doing this through the window like i'm so i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i was like why would you just suddenly accelerate but yeah he just looked really apologetic and i just carried on but that was a bit weird i was like dude it kind of reminds me because i'm like when you are driving you're in control of a really horrible death machine basically that can yep. blow up um 
Yeah, so that was weird. Anyway, uh, yeah. I hate walking through places like that, like drive throughs You know, like when the car's blocking the sidewalk, so you're like, I guess I'll walk around it. Yeah, so it's just kind of like an open. awkward moment when you just kind of got to casually stroll around it. Yeah, because you're, you're dependent on the other fuckers, uh, you know, not hitting you with their car, basically. Um, you got to make sure that they're on point, as it were. But no, that's good. I'm glad you're alive, Manimal. I'm glad you're well. I'm glad you're yep. okay. Oh, I could have ended up yep. like Konosuba, for instance. Konosuba? I, I, wanna... <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Am I? Who is Konosuba? Please tell me that. Is not you guys missed out on the best enemy. show last season. Oh, no. I didn't watch Konosuba. I'm sorry. Oh, is that well, Kono Subarashi Sekai no Shuku yes. Shufuku Levda? That one. Also translated as Give Blessings to This Wonderful Life. Ah, okay. Sure. Oh, at I least guess there's a car accident. I'm you'd that rather one, avoid a situation where you're thrown into a magical world full of hot girl, anime girls and mages and stuff and a harem. Okay, Chances fine. are, no. If That's Manimal what it seems hit... like, but it's not yeah. actually a show like that. If you actually watched an episode, you'd be quite surprised. Yeah, Lego, get your facts right. <laughs> anyway, Lego, how was your day, mate? Have you had a good week? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was just a fantastic um, long weekend. Like, um, there was this holiday from Thursday till, yeah, I guess till the weekend. So it was a super long weekend, and, just, and I just went out, and I was just like, it was so good that I was gaming on Steam, getting killed as usual in another... <laughs> First person shooter. Ah, everyone is always better than you think online. Damn it. Anyway, I was just like, okay, like this Call of is... Duty Ghosts. Nope, Blacklight Revolution. Not really popular game, but yeah, it's something. I still no, get my no, ass handed to me. It's pretty good. Oh, yep. Are you in there? <laughs> I'm in where? Blacklight? Uh, not yes. anymore. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. Sun was just too awesome. I just said, you know what? I'm going out and. And getting a coffee and stuff. And then things went further. And then friends came over. And it was just like crazy. And then I went to my sister's place. And it was just like too awesome. I had, I actually had a moment where real life was as interesting as anime. Perhaps even better. And oh man. Do you know how I can tell that uh, that it's spring? I don't tell by the sun. I tell by the clothes that the women are wearing. <laughs> Saw that coming. My... I was going to say. Is it the... um? Some clivage no. has uh, made its appearance. Is that what it is, Lego? Oh yes. Ooh, is that why you yes. wear? Is is that why, Lego? You wear black tinted sunglasses, so no one can see where your eyes are looking. Yeah, um, most people wear black tinted sunglasses. I do. The trench coat I mean, helps no, no, cover my mouth too. So with the sunglasses and the trench coat over my mouth, like people yeah. can't. You blend expression. right in, especially I in blend spring. Right in. I blend right in. <laughs> Everyone else is in. Tank tops and shorts, and you're well, you are like a full left trench coat. Those, those uh, images you drew of people in the cafe, so I totally buy this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where the hell did you see? Oh, damn it! I should really keep track of my online. Like, okay, I'm deleting you it. You didn't even know you posted it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I posted it randomly. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was, but yeah, it was really good, man. It's just like, That's awesome. I'm I'm tired as hell now. That's why I can't be on and. <laughs> It's loud, but I'll leave Manny more to play awesome music and you, you guys to discuss the final. And I wake up early in the morning. Carrying <laughs> on. New intro, new intro, new intro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. yeah, it's you, been good, guys. Yeah, you take a back good. seat then, Lego, if you want to chill out, mate. You, you, you chill out because you uh, have been a forerunner of many a show. Um, so I think you've earned a break. Do do like I did when Sherbert hosted one. I was just like chilling. So do that. It's nice to be a guest. <laughs> indeed. Ugh, so indeed. continue on, gentlemen. Continue onwards. Um, what was I going to say? There was something I was going to run back to. Okay, news items. That's what I was going to do. News. Right. Breaking news. This, this one has thrilling. nothing to do with manga and anime, but I read the story, and it's. Do you know? Sometimes every now and then you come across a story. And you're like, I have no idea if this is real or not, but like, <laughs> I, just, I I just hope it is because it's so ludicrous. Um, I would like to share a story from my local paper in regards to a local man. Um, can I tell you the headline? Please, yes, please. 
man arrested for having sex with chicken in Tesco's toilets. Now, for okay. those who don't oh, wow. know, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. for those who I'm... don't know, Tesco is a very large and one of the most biggest and most popular supermarkets in the UK. Done. Um, so it's a large supermarket. Okay, so I, it's a very short I news article. Them. But well, let me... do, they, do they serve fresh chickens there? <laughs> yes. Well, so it's how did he get the chicken? Where is the chicken from? That's what we have to know. Let's find no, out. It wasn't a no. live chicken. It wasn't a live chicken. Oh. So this is... Wait, that doesn't make it any better. Yeah, no, that makes it worse. No. Right, this is what makes it even no. more... Confused. Wait, so was it? It wasn't like chicken off the well, shelf. Can we have an anime news? It was. Oh, no, I'm going to read the story to you. I'll read the story because it, it gets better, and the words used are brilliant. <laughs> Listen to the genuine quotes from the security, and that that had me howling. Police are calling this a crime of the unthinkable, something that most <laughs> people would never even imagine doing. On Wednesday, the 27th of April, police were called to a Stoke-on-Trent Tesco's under the suspicion that a customer was shoplifting food. Oh, God. (laughs) So far, so good. So far, so good. According to the complaint, a Tesco worker radioed security about a suspicious man in the meat aisle. Security cameras filmed 35-year-old Paul Lomax. I don't know if I could give the name out. But actually, yeah, fuck it. If 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 uh, If it's in a news story, I'm sure you can. Uh, they filmed 35-year-old Paul Lomax shoving a whole chicken under his shirt. CCTV then shows the man walking to the customer's toilets, where he remained for at least 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 <laughs> minutes? 30 <laughs> minutes! Until someone went to find out what was going on. The security guard says he approached the toilets and knocked on the door several times, but the man did not respond. He then announced he was entering... I don't know at this point if that's the security guard or if this is the man <laughs> to the I chicken. Can... I don't know. <laughs> I, what's worse? I don't know what's worse. <laughs> oh, no. uh, what he oh, found man. behind the door oh, of the unlocked oh, stall man. is something oh, that man. he said will haunt his dreams forever. Oh, the sec- <laughs> the oh, security no, no, guard... No, 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 I'm dead, I'm dead. I know I'm exactly dead. what this is going to be The now. security oh, guard oh, reports oh, when he entered the stall, Lomax was inappropriately pleasing himself with the chicken. He said that when he entered, this is a quote, he didn't even stop. He just stared at me and kept going. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> so did he have the chicken on the toilet or something? I I I don't know. I imagine maybe he was going at it docky style. I don't I don't yeah. have the details. I do want to know. Um, <laughs> oh, chicken. God, maybe he was sitting down and sliding the chicken. <laughs> There's bones in there. Yeah, it's oh man. There's, I guess there's... that'd be where you put like all the filling and stuff, right? Yeah, you're you're going you're going in where the um the giblets would be. He's putting his giblets in basically. That's not what they meant. The cookery book did not mean your giblets. No. How did that take him 30 minutes? Um, I, I guess he's got a lot of stamina, I suppose. Um, I maybe he had to wind and dine the chicken. Who knows? We don't know his method, but um, shocked and... <laughs> There's more. There's more. Shocked, There's more. shocked and, and also frightened for his safety due to the fact it's... that Lomax was a big lad. <laughs> the 140-pound security guard said he ran out until police arrived. When they did, police officers <laughs> entered the restroom while Lomax was still putting in his work with the chicken. Uh, putting in his work. I love that. <laughs> Is that what the kids call it all nowadays? In all, all in all, <laughs> it took seven police officers to restrain Lomax and pry the chicken out of the man's hands. Seven! Oh my- <laughs> Seven officers. What is this man's life like that he needs? How long was that? Like an hour to one to pluck a chicken and finish. <laughs> yeah. Just the thing that the, the thing that Two, I never... seven police officers. I mean, was it a case of I don't? You touch him. I don't want to touch him because I wouldn't well, probably. Touch him either. What is you don't have think enough rubber gloves. The stall that this guy is in. Well, I've been this Tesco. This is my local supermarket. Oh, I've been wow. in these toilets and. They're not, you ain't got much room in these toilets. So, like, I suppose they had so, to try and, you know, the brief... <laughs> Cap stall? <laughs> One at a time. Oh, the f- he was arrested and taken into custody, where he was charged with shoplifting, indecent explo- uh, bleh, indecent explosion. Indecent explosion. <laughs> well, it fucking wasn't a decent explosion, I imagine. And resisting arrest. 
Um, management said in no way do they tolerate this type of behaviour. They have a strict policy <laughs> against shoplifters. Wow. And a sign on the toilet door clearly reads no products allowed beyond this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's that's true. I hope it is because I want to live in the that's world. too absurd yeah. to be true. I don't know. It's like it's so <laughs> mental that I actually believe it. I'm like, yeah, that could happen. Um, the thing that... yeah. The thing that you think it happened like somebody like that would do it like right in the aisle. Yeah. If they were going to do something like that, there you was know? something like that the I mean... other year in our supermarket. Well, one of the supermarket Sainsburys, where a guy was hanging around the fruit and veg and just basically exposing himself. If a woman came past, he'd just like flash his dick. I don't know why. Oh, no. I mean, you must have to be in a certain special place to for that to be the best yeah, course of that, action. That like so, some sort of like mental disorder thing, compulsive. Yeah, of some sort. What I don't get about this guy, the the thing I'll say about Paul Malomax is, Paul, you could have just bought the chicken, taken it home, and you just do what you want with it. Like if it's in your house and your I own privacy, problem, go yeah. for it. I mean, ignoring the fact that he's combining that? bestiality and necrophilia he somehow managed to get I almost have to wonder the if it's part of his thing to do it and then have somebody else try and buy it oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh no I know that's the worst possible way to go with it but let's be honest there's yeah oh, no. there's no way there's, there's only the only way is down to be fair with this <laughs> I just, um, I saw that story. Well, Paul, if you're out there and you want to come on the show, you're welcome. <laughs> if you want to explain We can have a actions. nice interview with you. Yeah. See, my only thing is, that means Stoke and Trent is basically the Florida of Britain. Because if that was an American story, it would be Florida man fucks chicken in bathroom. Because <laughs> everything it's bad here happens in Florida. Fair enough. Dexter's set in Florida, and he's a serial killer, so I guess that's true. But uh, yeah, it's uh, a story that I thought I need to save that. I need to bookmark that story because I need to tell everyone on the happy hour that story. It would be happy hour. I wanted, I wanted you to know that information. But yeah, there's a man walking around who wants to have sex with dead poultry. Well, you know. Hey, you know, I'm sure that a lot of people actually do that. I bet somebody listening to the show right now does it. Right, they're just sizing up, many a, listeners. sizing up a pot roast. <laughs> the only listeners we have are sexually depraved individuals. Hell, we have one on the show, Lego. <laughs> oh, wow. So you mentioned me by name now. No, I want no part of this. this no, we didn't good. mention your name. We mentioned your online nickname. There's a difference. We can you out in your life if we wanted to. No, we know. I at least know your full name. I know you don't. We'll see the rest do, too. No, no, no. Uh, it's not wow. going on. It's not going. It will be. Don't worry. I'm not going to give out real names. I thought Corin would give my address out. Soul, so. but, how, but how are the ladies going to track me down? I don't know. I thought your dream. And they want to I, ravage me. I thought your dream was that a woman ignores you. I thought that was what you wanted. Because it's. Cool. I thought your dream was that she never know you're there in the first place. Mm. Well, it it goes both sides. They can either find me and torture me, or. Or they can ignore me. The ignoring part is going well. Oh man, when they look at me with disdain in their eyes, it's just so amazing. So Legos are like some interesting facts about himself right now. Yeah. If but... anyone is in his area and is into such things, <laughs> you, he has just publicly expressed how he feels about that. The sad thing is, we already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can it be more obvious? We've, he's told us this before. Which relates me back. Next February, Lego, if you are coming LAGC, I'm going to pay a woman to come over and just spit in your face and see if you like it or not. Because I'm sure there's a mm. woman who will do it. Man, Bacon, have I ever told you that they're a good, very good friend? You would really do that for me? Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, we should probably Margaritas. move on. Margaritas is the best. Oh, we man. We should probably move on. Two actual <laughs> manga and anime-related news. <laughs> um... I guess, well, it technically it concerns Persona 5. Brand new trailer came out for Persona 5. And a release date for Japan, at least. First and foremost, who's seen the trailer, the new trailer for Persona 5? I have. I'm raising my hand, but it's can't, people can't see that. And I have. That looked amazing, man. It's just It's just amazing how they look so all good. the styles together so well. It looks just, so good. There's the gameplay style, and then there's the art. I just like... 
this is persona being next gen persona it's not just re- I, I, it's finally on ps3 that. graphics <laughs> I can't wait to play it on my PS4. Yeah, I can't wait to see what Persona 8 looks like when it finally makes the leap to next gen, which by then would be two generations ago. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. September the 16th, it's coming out in in Japan. Did you see it anymore? I don't play these games. I don't play these games. Persona. I uh, know. No. Okay. There's a dancing. Okay. A, there's a dancing all night. Persona Four. As I said, the only fighting game I play is Smash because a, it's cartoony, fun, game. and easy, and you don't it's have to memorize game. combos. It's a dancing game. It's called Dancing All Night. It's it's like a rhythm game. It's like uh, Project Diva, <coughs> but with Persona guys and a remix of their songs. There is a Persona fighting game, but I don't remember what it's called. Uh, Arena Persona P4 Arena, and then P4 Arena Ultimax or something. I played it and I sucked at it, so I don't like that game. It's the game that's fault, not me. Wait, so they're they're not all fighting games? Oh god, no, no, no. no. The main series is not they're, RPG. They're RPGs. Oh really? I thought they were yeah. fighting games. Nah, there's no. just one. Like they have spin-offs, so there's like one that's. An I got RPG. one of those on PlayStation Plus, but I only played it for like a couple minutes. Yeah, that's that's the fighting game that came on. Um, the again, there's so many combos in these games. I just don't have the patience to remember them, so I'm just like, nah. Yeah, if you like the I'll designs, just play Smash. If, if you like designs, it's worth at least checking out Persona for the animation, and then if you want to, they do have it. nice designs. That's yeah. for sure. I really, I do but like. The, I don't know. The really artist cool. for that for the, for Atlas is amazing. He does yeah. he does a lot of art for other games, and it just fits so well. It's just really nicely done. Speaking of Atlas, um, the reason we were saying it's a release date for Japan is because we've had it's a double-edged sword. As we've had more news about, uh, as we've had more news about Persona, we've heard that unfortunately NIS America, who distribute it in the West here, <clears throat> at least in the UK, and I'm guessing America, considering America is in the fucking title of the company, oh, they no. have cut ties with oh. Atlas. So, yes, at the moment, we don't know if Persona Four, uh, Persona 5 sorry, is going to be released overseas. Fantastic. Fantastic. The one saving grace to that is that they have still promised that they will be at E3. Obviously, E3 has more of a focus on Western releases as opposed to Tokyo Game Show. So, we'll see um, when E3 comes up, which is next month or uh, the month after. I can't remember. It's... It's coming soon. E three is. We'll... Unless they announce Lollipop Chainsaw Two, I don't give a shit. Yeah, fair enough then. <laughs> lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. <laughs> that was a freaking fun lollipop, game. Okay, lollipop, one of the best lollipop, games lollipop, I've ever played. Lollipop. I freaking had a blast. It was. Lollipop. It was quite fun actually. It was so because it, it was so over the top and nonsensical. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully, we'll get more news at then uh, at E three. The one saving grace I can think of is that it's a very popular game and it's quite a big name. So maybe someone will pick it up. So who knows? Let's hope so. Anyway, because I want to play this shit. I want to play this shit. I want to play this shit. Today. Do, do they, any, I mean, they like, certainly make a why, shit ton why of are money. They, why are they cutting ties? Like, what happened? Uh, I like, actually someone, don't Just someone's know. mother? I, I heard that some, there was some mother dissing going on. Um, oh, shit. Somebody, it was Mother's Day. Someone said, "Your mama don't have no Mother's Day because she she's some bitch." And then, like you know, they all kicked off. It was it was a bad time. Dark days, um, dark days for NIS America and Atlas. Atlas said, "Your mama the size of an atlas because you know she like size of seven continents." I don't know why I'm putting that kind of voice on. That's a terrible. Voice. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I couldn't think of a your mama joke. Anyway, moving on. Um. Yeah, basically, we don't know if they are going to be coming out. Uh, it, the official statement is just around 10 days ago, we terminated our alliance with Atlas in Europe and the US. Atlas became very picky about selecting the European publishing partner after it was bought by Sega. It always cherry-picked its EU publishing pr- partner based on who offered the highest minimum guarantee on a title-by-title basis. I noticed that it was very difficult for INS, I, uh, NIS America to establish an equal partnership with Atlas. Atlas and its European games have contributed a lot of expansion of NIS America in Europe. I would like to express my greatest appreciation to them. So, who knows? Hopefully, hopefully we'll get it. I don't know. 
Anyway, I need cheering up. So, has anyone got any better news? Has anyone got any... Um... Well, it's spring. <laughs> oh. Lego. That's pretty exciting news. I bet nobody knew that. Thank you for informing me. I mean, it is good. I've just, I've just finished watching the third episode of Game of Thrones. Well, third episode of season six. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. It's going good. Uh, if, you, if you're able to say that, that means there's some fun stuff happening. You're not at that rage quit moment where you're like, screw Game of Thrones, may the White Walkers yeah. win. Like, because I already reached that from the last season. I was just like, you killed everyone I like. I just want the White Walkers. Mm, I thought that was just the status quo of Game of Thrones. Yeah, like, pretty much everyone you know, The character is already dead. I mean, I've, I've watched season one and season three of Game of Thrones, not seasons two or anything that is after that. That's so I don't... quite a hefty um, ki- kill count from season one and season three, if I remember. So, yeah. Like, it, you really is. start to lose interest. You, you feel the pain. Well, the, the first season one got me. Considering, but like, are you on about the one that happened at the end of season five? Because if you are, then watch yeah, season six yeah. and you'll be happy. Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw some spoilers, but but I can't even trust that sort of thing because it's Game of Thrones. Yeah, well, that's you're you're in you're invested, so you're along for the ride there. So that's going yeah, good. Like, watch, watch it, Cab- yeah. Speaking of anime, spring season, Cabin Area of the Iron Fortress continues to be very good. Pretty rad fourth episode, I yeah. thought. It's I'm definitely a thrill ride. I don't know how it's going to turn out in the end, but so far the production values yeah. are pretty good, and That's, it's overall I really loved, highly enjoyable. Yeah, I really love the pacing of it, because it just goes so quick, and you're like, holy shit, that was an episode. Yeah. Like, I love. I haven't had this feeling from... The... They don't have filler bits. No, this is what makes me worry. Well, because it's an original, yeah. so, you know. This is what makes me worry about it, because, like, the pacing's really good, and I'm like, I haven't had this feeling of a show of being really good and to the point and just being really well paced and thought out and how how they've gone from point to point and strength to strength I, i'm worried that it could be like black bullet where like the first three or four episodes are like the most fast-paced exciting thing and it freaking slammed into a wall yeah and it just oh my god well that's what i was gonna oh, say i haven't yeah. had this feeling since i'll know a zero that's what i was just about to say the first zero. the first four episodes were so well done and then it just sort of tails off um it's still okay the first season like it's still really good i enjoyed it um it was one of my favorite animes of 2014 then the second season began and i won't talk about that that's dead to me but anyway um yeah so mayo i go i kind of gave up on at the moment i will I think it's it. all right. Did you see episode six? I haven't. That's the thing Ours. I've seen. Um, um, there's a there's a silicone boob monster. It, it, was, was, like, it was really silly. It's just it it started as so mysterious and so weird, and then it, I guess yeah. that's the thing. It's still kind of interesting, but I think the one thing that is like I really wanted to watch more of it, but the one that turned me off was just the voice acting. So many of them are annoying. Is it just me? Do you like? I don't have an issue with. Do you them. like? You better not be dissing Love Pond. She's the best oh, character in the show. I hate Love Pond. Come on, don't even. I wanna, don't even go there. Like, is the he's having trouble in in episode six? Did he explain why she's such a fucktard and why she wants they to kill everyone? They actually did. Yeah. Okay. And that scene was okay. I thought that one was alright. Like she's she's kind of like that Sundera, but like over the top. Where like say if somebody spilt a drink she'd like go kill them kill them kill them kill them all execute yeah like execute them and it's like just shut the fuck up man just chill i just want someone to just again shake her i think i think the show could like pull some like really dumb plot twists at the end like they probably all died on the bus or they're all ghosts that's what i'm that's what i'm assuming i'm assuming none of them are alive um and that's why they're seeing hallucinations and stuff uh, yeah, exactly the same just... as the plot of Lost. Well, this is the thing. It's so much. It's it, it it it's reminiscent of Lost, except you don't have a cool character like John Locke. I guess you could say the bus driver is. I suppose he's oh, an older kind John of freaking Locke. He, the bus driver. Mm. <laughs> he's a sort of sort of kind of character like that. But 
The bus driver barely, he just like sits around the yeah. whole time. He tried to kill them, and then like no one really brings yeah. it up. And yeah, that's the thing. The dude tries to freaking kill them, and then they just keep going like nothing happened. Yeah, this. Th like he just tried to run off the road, yeah. and they're like, oh, let's just keep going with this guy. He's alright. To be fair, like, Bad right. people are giving him a load of shit, and then like he goes, right, tell you what, I don't make much money. I can't even afford eggs on my ramen. Do you know what? Yeah. Fuck this shit. I don't want to live anymore. Then they're like, okay. Have you, okay. Uh, it's just weird. It's just like, oh. Speaking of load of shit, have any of you guys seen Big Order? No, what? not yet. <laughs> it is the most enjoyable train wreck of all time. It is the worst directed, worst paced, dumbest show. Like, I can't even describe it. And let me put it this way. There's a guy that destroys a nuke with his fist in the last episode. Okay. That sounds epic. A nuke? It's think? not. It's horrible. And it, it has these big serious scenes with a jazz soundtrack in the background. <laughs> it's it's hey, a freaking disaster. If, if, if you have a good jazz soundtrack, you'll be fine, but... Yeah. Like, it's it's just dumb, because like, it's by the same guy that did um, Future Diary, which I thought was a horrible show, so oh, I wasn't oh, excited. I, yeah, I actually wanted to mention that. Oh, wait, you're dissing, you know, my, my wife? You, yes, because you know it was a horrible character, and it was a terrible no, show. She's the one of the worst show. male protagonists. She's the quintessential Yandere. How dare you? That is okay, sacrilege. I, okay, you know the scene where, like, the freaking, like, that Yuki's dad, like, kills his mom, and then Yuki's like, oh, I forgive you, it's all right. It's a freaking stupid show. I'll, no. I'll agree with you that, that Yuki is a fucking shit, male, like, shit character. Um, yeah. The main character is useless, but but you know Gasai you know is quite fun. You know, you know is lame. Up. But no, this new show has a Yuno clone basically. Yeah, but it's know. funny because she's invulnerable. So there's all these scenes where she just keeps dying over and over again. <laughs> like this show has a lot of intentional humor, but it's so bad it's good. That's the best way to describe it, really. Mm -hmm. And then How many again. Check out. It was I was interested? I was like, oh, it's the same guy who made Future Diary. It's only t it's only going to be ten episodes too. It'll be up to episode five uh -huh. or something now. I reckon five or six. It'll be into. It's going to be five this week. Yeah. But the two best shows this season, uh, Bakuon. Mm -hmm. I knew that was going to be awesome. Is it? No. It's freaking schoolgirls. It's uh, hilarious. It actually it's the same. It's like the survival. Uh, survival game, Savage, that show. Sab, 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 it's, sab, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's that, that kind of humor. Blah, blah, blah. It's that kind of humor. It's a really funny show, like, because, like, it's these girls, and they're just freaks over motorcycles. Like, it's hilarious. And it's yeah. just a really fun I show. I just see quite a funny gif yeah. where, I think it was from there, where somebody just, like, I think it's the dad, and he pops, like, a, 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 not a wheelie, what's the, what's the one where you go up on your back wheel? Oh, that's yeah. That's, that's the one where the girl like um, not she lands on the hood of the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw the gif of that. That actually made me laugh. So I, I did intend to watch it's it. Really I know you wanted to. I know you. I like it a lot. Highly of it. So I did want to give it a try. And if you're comparing mm. it to Sagabu, Sab, I can't remember the fucking name for like me. Survival Game yeah, Club. Yeah, it's not as good as that show. Like it's I not really nearly enjoyed that show. Not half as funny as that show. That was one of the funniest comedies I've ever seen. No, it's not nearly as good, but it's still like that same kind yeah. of humor. That was a show that like, it's in. The that was a thing. show that came out. I watched it because of the first impressions in t uh, summer season 2014, and it yeah. just took me by surprise. I didn't know anything know, about it because it was really like good. Momoka is like the most like anti lead ever because mm. she's freaking ruthless and. Evil. I loved and it. That's it was so, so refreshing. Fun. Yeah, it was just like the. Um, I know. Yeah, it was so cool. It was really good. It's such a. Good show. I want to rewatch it, especially like that whole desert race yeah. <laughs> where she shoots the granny in the head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, I want to watch it again. You know, the the second best, or at least the runner up for best show, is Flying Witch. It's just like absolutely magnificent. It's. I don't even. It's just so chill and just such a relaxed show. Because, you know, like, the main character is a witch, but, like, it's, like, so natural mm. and realistic feeling, almost. Because it's not like, she's a witch, it's a big thing. Like, she literally is just chilling out, she takes a broom, she's like, oh, I guess I'm gonna fly now. Like, it's just, like, so casual and natural, I don't know. It's a really great show. Fair enough. Good old JC staff. Yeah. Doing that. And we got uh, Miwa in the OP, one of my favorite J-pop artists, so I was very excited about that. <gasps> Miwa does the OP. I actually really like Miwa. Um, not just totally awesome. Yeah, 
not just because of a physical standpoint. Like, oh no, she is like drop dead gorgeous. She's like every Japanese mm-hmm. wife who you'd want to meet. But um, yeah. Uh, her songs are great. I like Friday. The special charm stuff that makes you really Friday. happy. That's what's good. About. Yeah, I love that. Um, mm-hmm. oh, that's a great. <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, uh, Sakamoto is excellent. That's a really great absurd comedy. Sakamoto is the good. best character of the season. That guy's freaking amazing. Is that the one where the guy's like <laughs> proper cool and he's like really ridiculous? Yeah, he's un- he's he's literally unstoppable. Nobody can mess with this guy. Yeah, he's, he's so he's, perfect, and everyone hates invincible. him for it. I wanted, yeah, because we kind of shit it's on. So it. good, because the thing that's good about it is it, you don't get into his head. It's the other characters. It's about the other characters reacting to him. Ah, so he's yeah. like this godly figure. You don't get in his head or anything. You just see how everybody reacts so to him. So you it. never hear like an internal monologue. Yeah, so it's like you are the people reacting to him in the show. It's this weird kind of thing. and I like that. It's like, interesting. With Haruhi. And it's just a really funny show. It's really absurd, and it's a lot of fun. And then um, It's kind of like... Would you would you say Manimal? Would you say it was the One, one punch, punch Man, man of the of, uh, of, of no because of it's better life. than One Punch Man? Oh, 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 style of show or a series that you go to when you just want to relax and chill out there's always good healing slice of life there's a lot like i recently watched sketchbook full colors and that like nothing happens in that show but it's just so peaceful and just Mm. you can watch it before you go to bed and it's really great because it's such a light show where literally nothing happens but it's just about the environment and i don't know how to describe it it's really good Mm. just stuff like that Maybe I'm different because I don't tend to watch anime if I just want to relax. So, yeah. I mean, I usually go okay, for like historical of. documentaries. Those are kind of my jam. Mm-hmm. To chill out. Just to, just re- just to relax, life, right? basically. Actually, just documentaries in general. John, I was like listening to jazz go. music too. Where do you There's find like a your, top like, secret radio station or... here. That plays jazz from like eight to ten, and that's always great to tune into. because ah. it's like I don't know where it's from. It's like a mysterious signal. It's not from town. It's just like this. <laughs> this like guy is just talking. I don't know. It's, it's mysterious and really cool. That's kind of what, cool. What, what, what did you say, Lego? Um, like History Channel disappeared oh. from my side of you. Where do you watch your documentary stuff? Like YouTube Netflix. stuff? Netflix. Or... Netflix. 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 Man. They have shit tons and every once in a while like they put just a bunch more and i watch them all it's fantastic too awesome ah. documentaries are the basically the only reason i know anything <laughs> so the entire science division of of manga Rages is predicated on <laughs> history channel knowledge <laughs> not entirely ancient saying, aliens <laughs> I, I, i've learned probably a lot more from documentaries than i ever did in you know high school that's that's a fair statement, to be fair. I learned more off QI than I ever have on uh, in high oh, school. Q- QI is really good, too, though. I watch QI, watch QI religiously. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's Stephen Fry educating people and a bunch of comedians, so you can't go wrong. It's all good. Nope. What about you, Lego? What do you watch? I think um, Le- I think I know what Lego's I think... reading. <laughs> yeah, you can't stop. <laughs> I have no idea what you guys are talking about, and I deny any future statements that you're talking about regarding reading any manga that may or may not be named um, Nana to Kaoru. I deny any such statement. No, I never confirm or deny is the right way to say it. You just is, said the is that what that you picture you posted is from it. with the scantily clad lady? I was wondering why there was a person she in is... like some bondage suit going on. She is well dressed, I think. I think she I can... has. She's. Yeah, there's fishnet stuff going on. Um, 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 there, there's a clear opening from her neck down to her belly button. It's fashion. It there, is fashion. There is a lock on there. Um, okay, I just go- fire I... a key. Ah, damn! My Skype signal is like. I just googled. I've just googled this. This Nana to Karo. 
and the first mm-hmm. thing that comes up is live action. So, what the hell Are you is what I'm Are you going serious? to ask? Is... Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Can anyone tell okay. me what this thing is? Like, because I don't know. She she's got a lead on. What is this? It's... <laughs> Oh, oh my god, there's one... Oh, oh my. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely this close to porn. Yeah. Oh, wow. I... Oh, wow. I've just read the synopsis. Like... Oh, wow. What is it? Okay. Can this is the first image that caught my mind. Beyond what I thought. This is beyond what I thought. Oh, wow. I've actually read the other... Okay, guys, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Lego. Oh, my God. Tooth. What, what the hell? We lost him. Is Lego actually going? I don't... I. It, he is. He's really... He's he's really revealed his himself to us tonight, I think. Okay, yeah. I don't know what this Nana, Nana Tukaro is, but if you're not into bondage, probably don't Google it. Um, I'm still confused as to what it is. Uh, bondage. <laughs> wow. Now, with that musical interlude, let's clear our thoughts and talk about something it. that's some, not okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a loser. I'm not what I appear to be. I'm a raider, I am exactly what I appear. I'm vacant. Yes. You, is it you or Josh who... Am I supposed to use usernames or your names? Um, I you or, doesn't even matter anymore. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I introduced it. myself you or Simon. Who likes Danganronpa? Like, um, I'm a big fan of Danganronpa. Yes, like, sir. Is this Killer Killer, Killer, Killer manga is reviewed as Danganronpa spin-off in third chapter? Like, it's an hour to go on Anime News Network, so what, what is that? I still have not watched season one. I still have no idea what is happening. But... Danganronpa 3 is that, sorry. Uh, you're on about. Um, there is, well, to clarify, there is a third <laughs> Danganronpa game coming out, but there's also, I believe, yeah, it's um season three, I think, is it? Uh, season three of the anime. But the all the artwork seems to be about the ones from Danganronpa 2. Like the secondary characters, um, mm-hmm. which was I didn't enjoy it as much as Danganronpa One. It was a better game, Danganronpa ah, One was, okay. but it's still still a good game. But yeah, it, I suppose it's because you're sort of rehashing the same thing, like the same sort of gimmick. So it's never as good if you do it second time. <clears throat> there, was, there was also some other anime news that I I, I completely forgot when. But um, you guys, you you guys already know Bakemon no Gatari, Katana Gatari, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? I'm yeah, like, like his Zaragoto series. It's like an old novel series. I keep on hunting for it. I can't find it. It's too Wait, expensive. Are you, are you like I was seeking for physical copies. Copies? Yes, for Zaragoto. Like it's one of his oh. other unknown series, and the anime is coming out. I do not know when, but there was an 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 announcement for the adaptation. So that will be awesome. Like I know the Monogatari series is finally getting translated this fall. I still haven't caught up to the like. I only watched Net- Neko. Which one are you on now? On the yeah, there's like fifteen of them. <laughs> exactly. They're, they're, I think they're translating them in chronological order in the story. Mm-hmm. So they're starting with Kizo. There's like Bako, Nisei, Monogatari second season. Toothbrush scene. Toothbrush oh, scene. That's that all I know good. about Bako. That's a Nisei. Yeah. That's a Nisei when it got weird. Yeah. And they stopped being weird after that because it didn't work as well. So there's this or uh, this uh, other original plot of his, like how Katanagata is another story, Zare Goto. So that it's like a murder mystery sort of thing. So the, he's also getting an adaptation for that uh, that one as an anime. So that'll that'll be awesome. Cool. Katanagata is very good. I that's one of those series that I really need to watch, and I just haven't. I watched, oh, yeah. like, the first seven episodes of the first one. It was pretty decent, but I never got in the mood to start it again because there was so you much dialogue. To, which, exactly. I know, that's it's why that it's great. Is, that is it's him. about people having ke- clever conversations. I know, yep. but it's hard to get in the mood for that. So it's been, like, three years since I just tried to watch it. Hmm. Uh, I'm always I, in the mood I, for that I, kind of stuff. I always recommend it. I know how it is that you never get into the mood to watch them, but, dude, it is so worth it when you watch them because... 
one of these Anything. days. It's on my list next to the second season of Code Geass, which ah, I got halfway through, I and I stopped three years ago. Uh, Shakugan no Shauna 3, which I also ah. stopped three years ago because it was garbage. But okay, question. That's a good question. Around the room, but... what is on your list of I will get round to it someday? Big, huge oh, titles well, that have, you started and no never finished. Oh, have... you're, you're under arrest, too. I need to finish that. I got like 10 episodes left. That's a good show from the 90s. I've That's heard thing. of it, but I've never watched it. I... Oh, Cowboy Bebop, obviously. Yeah. Oh, you've not finished Cowboy Bebop? Yeah, I definitely finished No, Cowboy I just Bebop. wasn't in the mood when I started it, and ah, I haven't gotten enough. back to it yet. Fair enough, fair enough. I watched it after I watched Evangelion, and I was just like, how can I watch another show after this? I and, watched it you know. I watched it after Black Lagoon, so I was very much in the mood yes. for it. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which... It's very hard to follow up heavy shows with heavy shows. Yeah. Yeah. I think I watched yeah. Begotta HK after Evangelion, so, you know, that's pretty light. <laughs> yeah. For me... Uh, yeah, sorry, Connor. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, you go ahead. I got... I was just going to say, um, for me, probably the big one is Gurren Lagann, because I've just not finished that one. Vast. I know, I know Manimal's, yeah, Manimal's the worst uh, person to have on for me to admit that to, because it says uh, it, his shit is number one anime. But yeah, I still, absolutely still, number one. still have not finished Gurren Lagann. It's you absolutely need to get um, it. Um, yeah, I will. I want to because I feel like because a lot of people say it's good, so somewhere along the way oh, it's got to pick up. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's all it is. I mean, the first half, the first ten episodes didn't really do anything for me, so I'll have to. Like I say, I'd need to finish it. Before... Gurren Lagann really picks up after the time skip. It becomes an entirely different show, basically. Okay, that's that's good because Kamina sort of. I was cut. Spoilers for Gurren Lagann. I was. If you haven't watched the ten-year-old anime. Yeah, yeah, we can spoil it. Fuck it. Kamina dies in episode eight, so don't worry if you don't like Kamina. <laughs> He's gone very soon. And How could you not think like anyone him? hates Kamina? If you either. don't like him, you have no business he's watching terrible. the show. He's just a what? He's just you, a. You have no business. I'm don't a man. continue the show. Don't even bother. That's his character. Oh, go back to let your freaking. You, yeah. Let me tell you what his character is. I'm a man, which means men only fight. Fuck off, woman. Eye candy, Yoko. I'm a man. Woman. Hey, Do you remember her age? Do you remember in love and it's beautiful. Shut the fuck up. Hey, they kissed. <laughs> that was a red flag for me. I was like. Wait a second! They didn't. They didn't express any kind of connection or emotional attachment. <gasps> One of them's gonna die, <laughs> and sure enough, everyone Kamina notices dies. that before me. I yeah. thought I, it came as a shock for me. I was like, Kamina is immortal, man. He can. Well, no, it's because I was, like, the, the real I shock I with watching. the death is they killed off who was basically the main character at yeah. that point. So, yeah, that's true. But he's not. It's about Simon, though, or Simone, however you want to it's pronounce it. It's yeah, not a yeah, story about Simon. But enough. the very start off, it's very yeah. much about Com. Uh, 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 yeah, that guy. I can imagine that Simon evolves to adapt to to like come in his personality and take on like how he was brave and fearless. So in a way, like I say, I can see how it would pick up. But yeah, I was just sort of. I was watching it before work every morning. Like I was sort of got into a routine where I was getting ready to work for work. I'd watch it. Um, so I guess I wasn't taking everything in. I suppose maybe. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I will get back to it. The other one on my list is. Well, you better go start watching better shows like Sword Art Online. Yeah. And No Game No Life. It's okay. I finished Sword Art. Online. <laughs> no game, no life. Is I amazing. finished Sword Art Online. Actually, Sword Art must die. season season two. I got about twelve episodes in, and then I didn't watch that. I need to finish that. That's another one for the list. Gun- Bamboo Blade. I need to finish as well. I've got about four episodes left of Bamboo Blade. I, I heard that was good. Corin just recommended it. that. It's, 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 cool. it's actually it's pretty it's pretty fun. Like I like Bamboo if you're Blade. Just, like Bimbo Gum. He recommended that along with Bimbo yeah. Gum. I know. Watch any. That was a lo- I, that was a long yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Bamboo time ago, Bamboo Blade was the first slice of life kind of show that I ever watched. Um, so I guess it was responsible because after that I, I watched Haruhi, I watched um, uh, Kaon, uh, Newcom, like lots. Of, like I'd watch a lot more shows after that of Slice of Life, uh, Backer and Tess, like those kind of ones afterwards. So uh, yeah, I need to go back and watch that for old times' sakes. I'm trying to think of anything else that I may have missed. Kenichi, um, I need to go back and finish Kenichi. As well. Oh, Kenichi. There's also the OVA, which is which is a good thing to watch. So, I watched one episode of Bleach, and I was like, "What the hell am I doing now?" 
<laughs> yeah, you're even. Uh, I I gave when I first started watching Bleach because Bleach was the first anime I ever watched. Well, if you discount Dragon, too. yeah, but discount like Dragon Ball Z, Blade, Beyblade, and all that, they were on just normal TV. Bleach was the first anime where I knew I was watching anime, and it took until like I hated Ichigo at the beginning. I was just like, this guy's just dumb. He's stupid. Rukia is a bit of a bitch, but I kind of like her. She's kind of a cool character. I like that she's not, you know, just a badass. Um, but then after about nine episodes, I was like, holy shit. I'm literally waiting to finish work so I can go home and watch Bleach. I was like, fuck you guys. So that was all good. So I think Bleach probably takes the cake of I started watching but never finished. Because there's a lot not to finish. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it became filler central. I mean, the first 54 episodes, as soon as you watch those, you're okay. Do you know what? I'll give it... Okay. Uh, yeah, One sorry, piece... I was just going to cut in. Sorry, Emma. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, was yeah. just going to say, like... I didn't know that the Bound Arc was filler until I re- went back and read the manga, and I couldn't tell yeah. much of the difference. So I'll give the Bound Arc its due. Wasn't too bad. Bleach's filler on the whole was okay. It was passable. Um, some of it was quite good. I mean, there were some... Damn fine filler in Bleach, to be honest. Naruto's is terrible. I can't stand Naruto's filler. I hate Naruto's filler. Right. One piece of no. I can't watched. stand the show in general. Oh, he's one of them. Uh-huh. To be honest, Jokes. Naruto, yeah, I'm not... I mean, I liked Naruto overall, um, but... To be honest, I've never watched a single you like, episode. It's no so longer past tense. We're stuck with Naruto till we're old. Oh, shit, man. yeah, Boruto's like, come out now. It wants Boruto's now. It's just like, it won't stop. It just... Yeah, it sure is a bore. <laughs> you don't feel that legendary uh, of an anime ending, like yeah. a manga ending, like, just like, it's still with us. You're yeah, still don't here. worry, oh, wow. don't worry, we've just... Kind of like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, but I like Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball actually turned its delay, like, it took a long time before Super came out, out of the blue, and I'm not watching it at the I'm moment. Waiting. I'm not watching it because I can only watch Dragon Ball in Thank dub. Thank you, yes, like, me, too. The only me way. too. I think we had this conversation a couple episodes ago. Probably. We did with White Crow. White Crow told us it's coming out in July, apparently. Dub version. There's too many Dragon episodes, though, so I'm probably not going to watch it. I don't know. I'm absolutely going to jump on board. I mean, I like the last two movies. They were pretty decent. They, they were pretty good. They were. I still need to watch Especially that. to watch it in the theater, too. That was cool. But yeah, I don't that know. That was really cool. Series. Anyway. Yeah, they they were showing they had tickets for it the one day that I was in work, like over the weekend. It was like the Sunday they were having like a two PM screening and I was finishing at you four. Know, I was so they, gutted I just they got it. Dragon Ball Z here, but okay. we didn't get the Love Life movie, you know. Why not? Yeah. Dragon Ball Z is more popular. I feel like Dragon Ball Z has a bigger fan base than Oh, you think so? I do. I, do, I do, yeah. It's literally <laughs> smaller smaller cities got Love Live and we didn't. It's outrageous. Probably because they had smaller theaters who are just like, fuck it, we can do what we want. I guess so, yeah. but still. They're all closet right. Love Life fans, that's what it is. Anyway. Oh. But yeah, um, Lego, Corin, what were your... Uh, your... Uh, mine was... Well, actually, first, good news, everyone. I have finally finished drawing the designs for the Kamen Riders for the VN. Yes. I was wondering what you were doing. I just I, assumed... I have been busy... I've been doodling. I assume here it was... is the thirty-second preview. Wow! There was a blank page. Wow! Dude, you're seriously going ham on this? Like, like on there's the shared Google Drive, and I've been seeing like references for uh, wrestling like, pictures coming I, up. There. I, I couldn't like draw one as a whole, but I broke them down into their bits and pieces. <sighs> I'm so looking for. What is this Hero Academia? <laughs> <laughs> Which, what? by the way, is incredibly mediocre. Wow! All right. You're taking shots. Which episode? Which episode annoyed you? The first two was a screw up on that. I've, I've watched up to date so far. The last episode was okay, but overall, it's so standard and just whatever. I don't know. I gotta scan it. It's, yeah. It has heart and soul, but I don't know. Heart, dude. Power I need... brings. <laughs> I do. Those guys, we need to get on them. Like we're working on the visual novel. Like it's, it's. Slugging. I don't know what pace you can call this. It's like it's not. It's not. It's not going to it, finish. It's happening, more, but it's happening. Like finally, so shit's coming out. I have, got... It's okay. I have a plan that for Ex- next the... the next story arc, <laughs> can... we can work out a bit better because I have a plan that actually might work for us. Oh yeah, but you so... have you have chapters there. I think we're dealing with technical difficulties and sprites and echoes. We are. Have have the problem with this first 
run is just getting all the technical shit out of the way of, you know, the learning how to code plugging and it. getting some art references in the first fucking place. So like, comparatively, the next one is going to just fly by. But anyway, coming. we were talking about a thing. Animes that, that you need to go back to. Um, the- uh, Monster. I never finished Monster. I got like halfway through. Ooh. It's it worth finishing. It is worth I'm, finishing. So, so I'm told, but I just, I was not feeling it the whole time I was watching, and I could never decide if it was good or not. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, I was, like, the guy takes his time to build these stories. I, I read the manga, I was so swept away. It was just amazing monster. I was just like, there is no guns every single way, and it's a lot of dialogue, but oh, dude, this is thriller. Yeah, I didn't really like Monster Musume that much either. Yeah, I was just like, you can't fuck the snake and the bird. Just just pick one or the other. Oh, My Monster Secret. That's what we're we're talking about, right? No, Monster by, um, how can I forget his, his, um... My Little Monster. That's a pretty good show, Joe. Okay. By Naoki Urasawa, the guy who made 20th Century Boys, which is only out there as live action. I'm not sure if they're good or not, but the manga is amazing. Although, My Little Monster is pretty good. It is. It's on Netflix. I've never watched it. We should go on. We one at one day. We should go down the list of Netflix, uh, like the anime available on it, and just point out what's good and bad for anyone. That's a that's an idea. Yeah, sure. That's a video I'm gonna do. There I've you been, go. I've perfect. been making videos for for both the MR YouTube channel and the Happy Hour YouTube channel this week. So oh, you awesome. haven't sent me any of them. Yeah, because they're not finished yet. I've been doing them. I've been making them. They're not made just yet. Chop chop. Yeah. Don't make me get the whip. I was gonna come up. Um, I was gonna come up with something that was a really simple idea just for the main channel. Um, because I know Namena's doing her art like speed draws. I was thinking if we could do like five tips in five minutes, and you just literally pick anything you want and just give five tips within five minutes. Just be like, oh. Here are my five drawing tips, really quick. Step one. Do it. Yeah. Step three. Draw. Do it. Yeah. Step four. Do it. Step five. Use references. <laughs> Get that China boom. Yeah. Yeah. Like literally, <laughs> like you know, like five tips on script writing, or five tips on how to write action scenes, or five tips on finding an artist. Number one, just posting in the <laughs> manga artist <laughs> wanted isn't going to guarantee it. Anyway, um, yeah. So that was some. How to find an artist? Grab a piece of paper and try yourself. Mm. How to find an artist? Pay them. Yeah, that's the yep, only that the way. That is the way. only. You trap, motherfucker. That is literally the only way. Everybody can draw. Don't forget I that. I can draw. Nobody was born just with the ability well. to do so. I can draw just not very well. So what I'm going to do is just spend my bonus on hiring an artist and do my things instead. I also wanted to mention the anthology. Like it's not no official statement, but the writers' anthology is coming along well. And um, what are we doing for the cover art? Cover art. The problem is I don't want everyone to be going around looking for art again, and then it'll be like um, like I already drew a cover. No, do we? I drew a cover. You've drawn right. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool. So um, if there's art to be done for the stories, I don't think it'll happen. And nope. yeah, I, I I think I just want this anthology just to be like the in starting spark it's not it's not a v1 where we're just where we go all crazy on it let's just i just want to yeah see how it works. yeah but yeah it's going well but that and the end it's there's so, something i've learned recently is you should make something before you try to make something good exactly like too uh, yeah. much development no, no, good advice mm-hmm. I, yeah i want i'm gonna want art but that's fine like let's just get this out the door because realistically it'll take like a month at least <laughs> to get artwork for yeah. one person so fuck knows what it's gonna take for several <laughs> never mind um yeah no make sure you check out for the manga readers right his anthology everyone we'll be whoring that out like a uh, <laughs> shamelessly on everything on facebook twitter and we haven't even got a fa- I, We've we haven't even got a we Facebook have a for this Facebook. podcast. We do not have a Facebook. Well, you made a Facebook for us. Oh no no you didn't. We for have this one. No. I haven't made a Facebook. I was waiting for the chibis. Oh, Fuck it. We'll just make just make it happen, man. Yeah, we're just gonna make. We one. gotta give our Fuck dozens it. of fans something to do. Dozen, two dozen. A like. I don't know how many people we have just... following us on iTunes. 
All right. Well, we better. Um, I think we've got an hour and ten, hour and fifteen minutes. So we should Good somehow it's going wrap. to turn into two hours and editing. I don't know <laughs> how. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's gonna get crazy. But yeah, this was a good one. It was a nice little improvised uh, episode. It was nice and good. We covered all the news. Oh God, Nabon should have been here for it to to give us a retarded title or something. So I yeah yeah. Never mind. We can have always. To be one, I'm sure. We can, oh, okay. Listen. I think we should just use the um, the headline from that vacant read from the newspaper. Yes. <laughs> just, that. just the whole thing in its entirety. Yeah. Um. I'm sure that story produced one fucking. Thing for us. <laughs> for, uh, oh, yeah, for, uh, yeah. oh god, I was just gonna say. Um, I was just having a quick look. Is there any? I, I wanted to. I wanted to do a new thing on this, and I kept forgetting for like the last six months. Uh-huh. Apparently, according to the upcoming calendar, it's Literal's birthday. So I had birthday Literal. Um, whenever that is, next week. Our, uh, and it. Yeah, sorry. And he. It is. Brian's birthday's coming up. It is. I actually um, know it's coming up as well. It, it's Brian not on the, on the forum, but either. on Facebook. Yeah, it is Lit's birthday coming up. Also, account disabled, because they're the same person. And Ryan. <laughs> and and Ryan. To... And it's currently Cy Hawkeye's birthday, who was yeah, one of our first moderators. Yeah. yeah. Happy birthday, Cy, Let's wherever do. you may be, if you are listening. And even if not, fuck it. I would take it back. <laughs> so, yeah, happy birthday to everyone. I wanted to just shout out people on the forum. And the latest member who's joined, Eddie underscore snacks. Ha- Welcome to Manga Readers. <laughs> I'm looking forward to his participation uh, yeah. on the forum. He really looks like that. Please share the snacks with I know, me. I enjoy that you have snacks. We banned snacks five years ago. Why was snacks banned? After the snack apocalypse. What was snack offer? Because of the snack offer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's one of the unofficial rules of MR. I don't remember where they went. Oh, God. <laughs> they exist. Yeah, somewhere. we'll have to dig those up, definitely. Okay, then. Um, thanks for listening, everyone. Okay, it's been a pleasure. This yep. has been episode 37 in the books. Yeah, I'll take us home. <clears throat> You're done? Oh, no, I, was just, I thought you were going to do it. Are you just going to cut in anyway? But, yeah, no, thanks for listening, everyone. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, at Manga Happy Hour. Check out my MangaRaisers.com, the forum. And if you are a member, make sure you like, subscribe. That's one of the requirements to being a member on Manga Readers now. Do it, in the words of yes. Shia LaBeouf. Lego, Corin. Well, damn, I don't do any of those things. <laughs> Guess I better get you off better, of there. better go do that shit. Um, Lego, Manimal, Corin. <laughs> Give us an epic It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Have you got anything to say before we go? No. no. Nothing else other than have a nice one. See you next time. Also, Corin is fat. <laughs>